Devon Street, North Carolina. In Mountain Heritage Cougars country, Devon Streets blazed the trail with his business savvy. In second place, Devon Street, North Carolina. This is the story of why I was interviewed on the news as a national champion. But first, let's take it back to a very quiet morning in San Antonio on my birthday. So, good morning and Today is my birthday right here in San Antonio, Texas. I've been at the FBLA conference for the past few days and I've been doing a lot of competition work and everything so I haven't filmed for I think maybe the past two or three days so this is the first day I'm picking the camera back up again. But we are going over to the conference today to vote and then I'm super excited because I get to go over and see Spider-Man Far From Home on release day. We are at the convention center now, and this place is absolutely massive. It's ridiculous how big it is. And I, I've loved it here. I've been running back and forth because I realize I'm going to the wrong rooms half the time. And I competed in the competitive event called Future Business Leader. And I had to do two interviews, a test, over the past few days. It's been hard, but I made it to the finals and tonight I find out what I placed at. So we just finished up voting and it wasn't too long and I got some time to kill so I'm actually going to check out St. Joseph's Church. Wow, it's gorgeous in here. It is really beautiful. There's a, a massive orchestra up there at the top. So I would say anyone who is coming to San Antonio, visit around here because it is really, really pretty. There's some gorgeous candle offerings right here. And yeah, I mean, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous church. It's beautiful. So I'm back at the River Center now. I'm right near the river walk right now it is beautiful here too this is what i love about san antonio is it's just such a gorgeous place i love the river walk i love all the things here but right behind me is the imax theater and we're gonna go in there and watch spider-man far from home for my birthday and i'm so pumped wow i wish i saw this earlier you get legoland discovery center day pass two movie tickets and a free burger at Whataburger if you donate blood today. I like donating blood anyway, but 
They're giving a lot just for some blood donations here. Here we are at the AMC IMAX. But it's closed right now, so we can't go in. You know, this might be the first time I've been to a mall before it's open. And it's so quiet and peaceful. Everything's still running, but everything's just shut down. Also, I think this is my first time going to a movie theater before it's actually open. And also, it's my first time seeing a movie on its opening day. I, I don't know if I've ever done that before. I might have, uh, but I haven't done it like this this early because there was one showing at midnight last night and then there's this showing today at 9.45. So this is like the earliest showing you can get of Spider-Man. Here we go, they're opening the gates now. It's starting soon. Leaving Spider-Man, I was absolutely amazed because it was easily falling into one of my top three Marvel movies of all time. And that end credits scene just left me ready for Spider-Man 3. After watching Spider-Man and having my birthday lunch, it was time to go back to the FBLA conference for the awards ceremony to find out where I would place in the entire nation. After over two and a half hours of sitting in an auditorium with over 15,000 other people, they finally called out the finalist for my event. The finalists for Future Business Leader, sponsored by the Menton Fund, should report to the holding area. Montana Barber, Georgia. Devnash Yerputi, Georgia. Servanal Pinjala, Utah. Devin Street, North Carolina. Robert Schwinn, Missouri. And now for your winners and Future Business Leader, sponsored by Menton Fund. Third place receives $100, second place $200, and first place $1,000. In 10th place, Chloe Ferriulo, California. As each name was called out, I knew I was getting closer to the top of the rankings. Eighth place, Katherine Henson, Missouri. Seventh place, Jason Ling, Georgia. Each name called out was terrifying for me because I didn't know if that was going to be my name. Fifth place, Tegan Bailey, Florida. Fourth place, Sravya Pinjala, Utah. Third place, Devon Pude, And then finally, we got down to the last two and in second place, Devon Street, North Carolina. Also, shout out to Robert Schwinn for beating me. And in first place, Robert Schwinn, Missouri. Being the first person from my county to ever win a national award came with some perks, including a TV interview. Fourth of July weekend that's fitting to celebrate the pursuit of the American dream. Now, this week, a Yancey County teen is among the best in the nation at a Future Business Leaders of America competition. He hopes his success inspires young people who follow him at Mountain Heritage High. News 13's John Lee has the story. Big dreams can thrive in small towns. These are some uh, awards I've won over the past couple years. In Mountain Heritage so Cougars are, country, sort of Devon Streets blazed the trail with his business savvy. Anything's possible, even coming from a small school like this. Future Business Leaders of America gave him a source of identity. That was long before his national honor. In second place, Devon Street, North Carolina. It's the most prestigious competition in FBLA. It's a moment he'll replay in his mind for years to come. Place, I really like just being able to represent this school on a national level. Tuesday on his 19th birthday, he made school history at the FBLA National Convention in San Antonio. His strength when it came to business knowledge and job interview skills pushed him toward the top of the list. Well, I'd never even been to nationals before and to now have second place in the entire nation in a competition, I was just so proud of myself for something I didn't even know I could do. In high school, he's earned honors at regional and state competitions. Next year, he'll double major in business and computer science at UNC Chapel Hill 
and to think that not too long ago, he was an introverted kid. FBLA helped build his confidence. Getting myself out there, pushing myself to do stuff even if I didn't want to do it. And through that, I've been able to work on my speaking skills. And now he's a great example for kids in the community. Anything is possible no matter what background you come from. In Burnsville, John Lee, News 13. Devin has lofty business goals and has already targeted Disney as one company he'd love to work for. He says he couldn't have done all of this without his FBLA advisor, Tanya Ray.